Hey there, welcome everybody. Um, this is CP Cards and Dice. This is your home for tutorials, strategy, player profile, history, reviews, chat, news, tips, tops, baseball cards, rants, unboxings, and so much more. I'm your host, CP, and uh, I want to basically do a quick tutorial, a 15-minute tutorial now. I've timed myself, so I don't want to go over that time period. Uh, and this is using iScore to play a game. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to slide it over just a little bit there. Okay, so we can see the dice. I have the cards of the away team on top and of the home team on the bottom. I can't get them. I could push this back and get them into the picture, but then we would potentially lose eye score. And I want to show you exactly how you play this. Hopefully we can get through about three innings in 15 minutes and maybe even more. The game I'm using is deep drive baseball. It plays very quickly. If you like APA, if you like Strat even a little bit, if you like Status Pro, if you like Payoff Pitch or, or Inside Pitch or Replay, this game has some element of all those games in it. It plays very quick, very fast, um, and, uh, and I'm going to show you. All right, so here goes. You roll, roll 3D10. You read the red and the white. And it's going to be Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil's having a crazy first half of the season. This, I believe, is game uh, 80 uh, something or other, 80, 81 or so on. All right, here it is. That's a 33. You read the red, you read the white. So that's a 33. And uh, it's off of McNeil's card, which is in the out range, because this is a 50-50. A 0 to 49 is off the batter. 50 to 99 is off the pitcher. Um, so this is 33, and that's kind of the stratomatic aspect of it. Very clear, you know, uncluttered cards is the and the flow, the ease of, of play is the APA part of this game. So it's a 33, a 9. I'm going to try to talk a little bit less so you can kind of gauge how quickly this plays. It's a fly ball, uh, not a deep fly ball, not a shallow fly ball, it's just an average fly ball. So you have all those elements as well. It tells you, was this hit hard? Is this soft? And this, that's a big nuance, a beautiful nuance that this game brings into the mix. All right, so McNeil flies out to center field to lead off the game. Now it's DP Alonzo, power hitting first baseman for the Mets. And that's an 11. That is ball four. So Alonzo walks. All right, the Mets. So now you have to roll an extra 20-sided die. I want to get a mini 20-sided die and uh, and really highlight with with because uh, you're looking for a one. If there a one comes up then it's a potential wild pitch pass ball. All right, that's a 0-1 on Pete Alonzo. That's going to turn into a deep drive because we didn't get a 1. Had that been a 1, we would read this number off a wild pitch chart. But it didn't happen. There's no 1. There's no wild pitch. There's no pass ball. A 0-1 is a deep drive. So Pete Alonzo gets a hold of 1 and drives it deep to center field, over the center fielder's head. Can he catch up to it? That's the question. Now you're going to look at the deep drive chart on the card. Right, you look at the deep drive chart on the card, and we're going to roll here to see what result we have. We got to roll that that additional green die as well. That's going to be a 39, and that ball is a deep drive over the center fielder's head and over the center field wall for a home run. So, uh, I'm sorry, that's not Pete Alonso. Uh, it was Michael Conforto. My fault. I got a lot going on here. Michael Conforto drives one to right center field, and a 39 on Conforto's card is gone as well. That's a two run shot. The Mets are up two nothing. All right, so uh, I'll go a little bit slower on this. Um, I'm just tapping. As you can see, it's pretty easy. All right, so there is – it gives you the outs on here. So it tells you the inning. It tells you the outs. I know exactly. It gives you the score. You have a score uh, scoreboard there. So this is a 96. 96 is going to be off Aaron Nola, and the 7 is a fly ball to left field. So it's an out, right, fly ball to left field. So you click out. You look for pop fly out, left field, done. All right. So next batter is, it says right here, the batter, Dom Smith. He's a left-handed hitter. And we roll. That's a 71. That is a strikeout. So you just hit out. You go to top right, strikeout swinging, and that retires the side. That's how quickly this game plays. Um, now it's going to be Scott Kingery versus Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler's on the mound, 30. And that's going to be a 130, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Scott Kingery. Gets rung up by Zach Wheeler here in the bottom of the first. It's 2 nothing Mets 
on that home run by Conforto. Now that's a 36 and a nine. That's going to be in Zagura's out range. A nine is a fly ball center field. You hit out and then you go to fly out. You go hit center field and done. Two up, two up, two down. Bryce Harper, 27, and that is strike three. And High Heat gets uh, Harper, and that retires the side. Um, Wilson Ramos for the Mets now in the top of the second inning. We're going to roll for Wilson. The pitch from Aaron Nola, that's a 58, and that's a ground ball up the middle and through. Seeing eye single, played by Kingery. And Wilson Ramos, the Buffalo on at first base. He will not be going anywhere. Uh-oh, but that's a deep drive off of Ahmed Rosario. See what that's going to – oh, and I, I forgot to roll the 20-sided die. There it is. There's no one, and that's a 29, and that's going to be a ball that's pulled down the line into left field corner. Jay Bruce uh, doesn't get the angle, so has to chase it a little bit. Around to score is Wilson Ramos, and around second going for third. The relay to third and the throw, and he is safe on a triple. RBI triple for – the speedy Ahmed Rosario. So, and uh, let me let me back up. So let's say I want to redo that. I just hit undo. Triple's gone. So let's do that again slowly, right? I hit in play. I look for triple. I hit triple. And it says, did the what happened to Ramos? Home. He's at home. He's fine. Advanced by the batter, so he scores. And then it says, what happened to the batter? Well, he held up. Well, he's advanced by, or he held up basically at third base. So that's it. All right, so now we have Ahmed Rosario at third, and it's Juan Ligaris and 3 nothing in the first. We're going to bring the infield in, and that's going to be a 31-9 off Ligaris card. A 31-9 is going to be a fly ball center field. We're going to check the center field chart. Fly ball center field. The runner is – Ahmed is fast, so he is going to score on a sacrifice fly. So that's going to be an out, sacrifice fly, center field, done. What happens to the runner at third? He goes home, advanced by the batter, and that's it. Scores 4 nothing Mets. I love it. Love it when my, when my team wins. All right, uh, Zach Wheeler now. He's at the battery, 65, and that's off Aaron Nola's card, and he blows one by Wheeler. No chance for Zach. And now it's the flying squirrel, Jeff McNeil, batting. Tells you the score up here, gives you the hits, gives you all the information. It adds a feel to your game. It brings it, you know, it, that that color dimension. Um, let's see, that's a twelve, and that is line base hit to right. A scorcher by McNeil. He's on with a single. All right, next is Pete Alonso. All right, Pete Alonso. Here's a pitch to Pete Alonso. An eighty-one could be a. Now this is your your defensive check. Okay. Your defensive check, I'm going to re-roll. A 0-2 tells me it's an error. Up to 40 is an error, 41. So now I'm rolling in the error section. I quickly look. This is very fast. Um, I quickly look. It's a 13 in the error section. That's an automatic error on the shortstop. So it's, it's, it's an E1 on Segura, ground ball to Segura. He bobbles it, throw to first, not in time. And the scoreboard flashes E6. And the reason I said E1 is means, it means it's a, a, a one base error. So let me undo. Let me undo to show you that, how to, how to uh, basically annotate an error. So it's in play because that's where the error choice is. You won't find it in the out. There's really two ways of, of handling every play, and it's either the out or it's in play. So this one was in play, and it said I clicked on error, then I clicked on shortstop. Then it asks me, okay, what happened to the batter? He went to second on the same error. And that's uh, – no, I'm sorry. There was nobody on base. My, my mistake. So I just hit undo again. In play, error on the shortstop, done. And the batter is at first. He held up at first base. All right. So now it's uh, Pete Alonzo. Or did I, did, I, did I miss an out because I was talking? Hmm. Jeff McNeil singled. Undo. Jeff McNeil singled. All right. He held up at first. Now it's going to be in play error. Now it's uh, Alonzo. I just remembered what happened. E6, done. So it's first and second. Held up, held up. All right. So now it's Pete Alonzo with two outs. Uh, I'm sorry. Michael Conforto with two outs. Pete Alonzo's at first. McNeil's at second. 
and we're going to roll using deep drive baseball, showing you how quick and easy it is. Zero one. Oh, that's a uh, Conforto hit a, a two run homer in the first inning, and now he has another deep drive to right field. Bryce Harper back to the wall. Let's see what happens. We're going to have to roll here on the ballpark card and on Michael Conforto's deep drive chart. A 78 is going to be off the wall and rolls away from Harper. He chases it around to score is McNeil. All right, you hit, you hit. It's going to be a double, so you hit double, so the one runner scores. And what happens to Alonzo? He's very slow, so he's going to be held up. And then Conforto is held up at second base, so it's second and third with, with two outs against Aaron Nola, and up to the plate is Todd, the Todd Father Frazier from Tom's River, New Jersey. Played with a few teams, played with the Yankees, played with the Reds, played with the Chicago White Sox. He's with the Mets for a couple of seasons, and he's gone now. Uh, probably J.D. Davis at third base. Uh, we'll see who they have at third base. Um, Todd Frazier with two outs, runners on second and third. Conforto at second, Alonzo's at third. The Mets are up 5 nothing. And that's a 24. That's going to be off Frazier's card, and that's a strikeout. Frazier down swing, and that retires the side. All right. Reese Hoskins leading it off against Zach Wheeler. Here's the pitch. That's off Wheeler. A nine is a fly ball center field. So out, fly out, center field, done. One up, one down. Next batter, Jay Bruce. That's a 77. That's going to be a defensive check. It's it's higher than a than a 41, so that's going to be a range check. And we can look at that 63. We can use a 63. It's to the third baseman, ground ball to the third baseman, who is uh, Michael Franco, and that's a ball that he handles, fires across the diamond, and that's an out. So a nice play by Franco on that chopper. Tricky hop for him, but he was able to, to uh, grab that. And now it's going to be Cesar Hernandez. Let me undo so I can show you slowly how I did that error. In play, error, third base. I'm sorry, no error on that. Um, let's cancel that. Out, ground out, five to three, done. All right, so Cesar Hernandez with uh, two outs, stack Wheeler the pitch. It's a 14 off Wheeler, and that's a ground ball through the right side for a base hit. So a two-out single, and I'll cancel that. I'll undo, I'll redo. Now it's Cesar Hernandez in play. It's a single. He stops it first. And now it's Michael Franco. Now we're going to throw that extra die because there's a runner on base. If it's a one, it's going to be a wild pitch. It's not. It's a 17. 17 is off Franco, and that is a defensive check. So, again, if it's higher than 41, it is. It's a 95. So we're looking at a range. 95. Right fielder is Conforto, and I remember he's a four. So you can memorize most of these. Most guys are threes. And then I just kind of look at the beginning of the game and, and for anomalies, like guys that stand out, like, wow, this guy's really good. Or this guy's really terrible. A two is not good. A four is good. And that's a fly ball, a shallow fly ball to right field. And racing is Conforto, and he gets there. And I believe that retires the side. Two outs. Yes, it does. So Conforto makes the catch, and we go to the next inning. We're in the top of the third. As you can see, it plays quickly. Dom Smith, pitch from Aaron Nola, and that's a 13, and that's ball four. So there's going to be action in the bullpen for the fills, and I separate all those relief pitchers at the beginning of every series. And it's Wilson Ramos throwing that extra die. It's a five, so it's a 0-8 off Ramos' card, and that's a line drive, base hit, and that's in the gap. It's going to be cut off by Bruce. Dom Smith is going to hustle to third base. So he goes first to third because that's a single plus – and also, Dominic Smith is a fast runner. So that's like an automatic. Now, a lot of runners can advance, but you're going to have to roll on a separate chart. And you can memorize it. Zero to 41, it's an automatic advance. Then if it's higher than up to about 60 and 70, depending on the guy's speed, and then from from seven, from seven about 80 to 100, it's, he's probably going to be out. So usually it's a 20% 20, 20 to kind of – finalize so right now we got wilson Ramos at first dom smith at third ahmed rosario infield's going to be in it's five nothing new york so we're going to roll here for ahmed rosario and it's going to be a 58 off of aaron nola and that's going to be a ground ball and through the left side for a base hit 
Dom Smith comes in to score in play. Single, Dom Smith, advanced by batter. Uh, Ramos is going to stop at second. What happens to the runner at first? He's, he holds there. And now it's Juan Ligares with runners on first and second. <clears throat> now, uh, Nola's given up six runs and seven hits, so that's about it for Nola. He's going to get replaced. But he's due up next inning, so I'd like to pull a uh, – hate this. Um, let's see. You know what? Brad Miller at third base. We're going to bring in Brad Miller at third base. We're going to pull a double switch, and I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll end it with that. Double switch is probably the most complicated thing that you're going to be doing uh, with with this uh, app. All right, let's see. Somebody who hasn't pitched. Juan Nicasio's pitched. Hammer. Oh, you know what? Edgar Garcia is going to come in. Edgar Garcia, he's pitched, I think, only one time in this series. So, oh, let's show you how to do that. All right, so I want to change the pitcher. So you tap on the pitcher. It brings you the, the roster. Now I'm going to look for, who did I say? Edgar Garcia. Scroll down, Edgar Garcia. There he is. So I click on him. Include offensive sub, yes. Oh, no, you know what? Cancel because I'm not. I'm going to do a double switch. All right. So again, I click on the pitcher. I want to remove the pitcher, and uh, I want to go to Edgar Garcia. Include offensive sub. No, because I don't want him batting in that ninth position. It says that there. So because I'm going to put him in position number uh, seven. So then um, I've got that. All right, and I'm going to save. So the new pitcher's in there, Edgar Garcia. Now I'm going to tap on him and put him in the seventh spot. It goes to Franco. It tells me Franco's in the seventh spot. I don't want Franco there. I want Garcia there. So I'm going to click on Garcia. Include defensive sub? No, because it'll put him at third base. So, uh, all right, so Edgar Garcia is now, and you can see it here. There he, there he is. He's batting seventh. Now in the ninth spot, I'm going to bring in, who did I say I was going to bring in? Brad Miller. Brad Miller's going to go to third. So I click on third base. I look for Brad Miller. There he is. I click on Brad Miller. Save. So now Brad Miller's at third base, but he's not batting anywhere yet. I got to put him, make him bat. So offense, he's going to bat in the ninth spot. And it tells me, hey, dummy, in that ninth spot, it's Aaron Nola. So then I have to go to Brad Miller and I hit save. All right. I hope I didn't do that too fast, but that's the double switch. It takes a few steps to do the double switch. I try to avoid it when I can, but if I have to do it, you got to think, stop a little bit, think through it. So I got runners on first and second. I got Ed Garcia pitching. I got Juan Lagares at the bat. Let me finish at least this inning. Well, actually, there's no outs in this inning. So I want to keep this uh, at 15. Now, in the comments, and you can contact me at combatpainter at Gmail, and you can tell me, hey, listen, I want you to do that again. I want you to do it a little bit slower, and I'll do that for you. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll gauge, I'll kind of put this up on some of the forums so you guys can, can kind of tell me, you know, that was helpful. I want you to do this part. How do you do this? Or how do you do that? And I'll do a, a tutorial to help you guys. Now this is, doesn't, uh, it, uh, it's a very simple app. It just takes you a little, it's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, I'm going to, you know, I also use paper and pencil. And, I've, and you can look at some of my videos, and I do use paper and pencil sometimes. And then I input the information at the end of the game. Sometimes I'm just in the mood to go old school. But that's about it. Mets are up 6 nothing. Not much of a game here. I'm going to finish this offline. But I want to do this I score tutorial part two, actually uh, keeping score during the game. But yeah, as you can see, it gives you all the bells and whistles. You have all the lineups. You know, it, it, it's 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 a nice it's a nice little feature. It's a nice little addition to uh, to to kind of bring our tabletops to life with a little bit of technology. This is an eight, a 9.8 inch iPad. You can pick those up for about hundred bucks, hundred ten dollars uh, on eBay. Um, you can trust them pretty much. You check the guy's feedback if he has good feedbacks. You know the the items are good. They don't sell junk because they want to stay in business. You know, and if you, they also offer uh, money back guarantees. So if it doesn't work, I've never had a problem. All my laptops, everything I have, is all from online. You know, refurbished stuff, and it works great. And you save hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So anyway, this is CP Cards and Dice. Remember, guys, this is your home for tutorial, strategy, player profiles, history, reviews, news, chats, uh, tops, baseball cards, tips, rants, unboxings, and so much more. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, enjoy. Bye now.